The Kogi State Government is demanding an apology from the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the EFCC, over its insistence that the government diverted 20 billion naira meant to pay workers' salaries. The state has given the anti-graft agency 48 hours to do so and also retract all accusations failing which it will take legal action. Plus TV Africa's Hilary Noruka reports. The dust raised by the allegation of the diversion of 20 billion naira by the Kogi state government is yet to settle and might not settle soon. And that's because the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission is insisting the state move the money into an interest yielding account. The state is now asking the anti graft agency to show proof. And we hereby again challenge the AFCC to produce the account mandate, account package, and the phone number and BVN of those <coughs> who allegedly opened and operated the Kogi State Salary Bailout Fixed Deposit Account. The Kogi State Commissioner for Information also wonders why the EFCC is yet to publish details of the signatories to the accounts and arrest them. Why has the EFCC not arrested and prosecuted those who signed the account opening form for opening the said fixed deposit account and those who have been given instructions in respect of the account? He is in addition demanding an apology by Tuesday afternoon, otherwise the state would go to court. We further demand an apology published within 48 hours from today in one national daily and on all EFCC official and social media platforms addressed to His Excellency Al Hadi Yahya Bello, the Executive Governor of Kogi State, and the entire government and people of Kogi State. Plus TV Africa tried to get the reaction of the EFCC, but it says it does not react to news conferences. On Friday, the agency released a statement saying 19.3 billion naira from the controversial bank account has been moved to the Central Bank of Nigeria. It insists it was operated by Kogi State. Hilary Noruka for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.